Emperors on Ice Emperors on Ice is about an adventurous journey that later came to be known as the worst journey of the world. Before we learn about the British exploration of the Antarctic regions, we should learn about the emperors, which are called as emperor penguins. Usually, many birds migrate to escape the bitter cold in winter, but emperor penguins are unique birds. Emperor penguins can live in a place where no other animal can live. Although emperor penguins have been known to science since 1840, the first colony wasn't discovered until the members of the Antarctic expedition found the birds at Cape Crozier. This small colony lies on the eastern tip of Ross Island in the Ross Sea, directly south of New Zealand. The title Emperors on Ice refers to the emperor penguins who live in the Antarctic polar region. The title also refers to the brave scientists who went to Antarctica they are called emperors for having gone through the extreme weather conditions to acquire the eggs. Captain Robert Falcon Scott was a Royal Navy officer who led two expeditions. The first expedition took place between 1901 and 1904 and second expedition took place between 1910 and 1913. His discovery expedition had both science and exploration goals. Scott was also a scientist. The samples he collected in those days are still useful to scientists today. The team collected specimens from 2,109 different animals. Of these, 401 were new to science. They even collected samples from the seafloor at a depth of half a kilometer using trawls. They also collected rock samples, penguin eggs and plant fossils. Scott's team also collected the first thorough set of weather data for the Antarctic which has served as a baseline to track the changes in weather pattern ever since. Scott and four others made it to the South Pole, but Roald Amundsen, the Norwegian explorer, had already preceded them by just over a month. On 14th of December 1911, Amundsen expedition won the race to the pole. It was aimed to be the first to reach the South Pole, collecting as much scientific data as possible along the way. Henry Robertson Bowers, Edward Wilson and Apsley Cherry Garrard were also the members of the Terra Nova expedition which was led by Robert Falcon Scott the British explorer of Antarctic.
when scott and four others made it to the south pole these three members as a team traveled for six weeks in winter to study on emperor penguin colony come on to land and lay their eggs in temperature as low as minus 60 degrees celsius the team overcame intense hardship all in the name of science they left their basic camp on 27th of june 1911 they hoped that evidence would be found about the embryos of emperor penguins Emperor penguins were thought to be the most primitive birds. Emperor penguins were thought to be the most primitive birds, so they hoped that evidence would be found about the embryos of emperor penguins to support the theory that there was an evolutionary link between birds and reptiles They left the camp on 27th of June 1911 Edward Wilson was the chief scientist Edward Wilson and his two colleagues embarked on a grueling 6-week journey to the nearest penguin breeding colony pulling heavy sledges which were like vehicles to travel on the snow and ice on the first expedition scott set a new southern record by marching to latitude 82 degrees south and discovered the antarctic plateau on which the south pole is located On the second venture Scott led a party of 5 which reached the south pole on 17th of January 1912 less than 5 weeks after Amundsen's south pole expedition During the first expedition which took place between 1901 and 1904 the expedition ship was trapped in the ice at Cape Crozier on Ross Island. Then Lieutenant Reginald Skelton happened to see the astonishing emperor penguins. He discovered the first breeding colony in 1902. Keeping in view what happened to the Discovery Expedition ship in 1902, in 1909, Captain Robert Falcon Scott bought Terra Nova as expedition ship for the British Antarctic Expedition 1910. It was reinforced from bow to stern with seven feet of work to protect against the Antarctic ice pack. Terra Nova, the expedition ship, set sail towards Cape Crozier in early 1911, but bad weather caused severe delay of the expedition and they experienced packed ice when entering the Ross Sea. As a result, the ship was taken into the McMurdo Strait. There they found a rocky cape on the west side of Ross Island in Antarctica, which is called Cape Evans. Cape Evans. These three explorers, Edward Wilson, Henry Robertson Bowers, and 
Apsley Cherry Garrard had to hike 70 miles from Scott's base camp on Ross Island to the penguin breeding colony on Cape Crozier. They set out from their base camp at Cape Evans at midday on 27th of June 1911. The reason for their six-week-long expedition in the worst weather was because the emperor penguins breed in the middle of the Antarctic winter. They had to spend six weeks in the Antarctic winter traveling from Cape Evans to Cape Crozier to gather rare emperor penguin eggs from their natural habitat. During these six weeks, they faced extreme cold, powerful winds and intense blizzards, which means snowstorms. It was completely dark. They had to navigate by candlelight and stars. Going from their base camp at Cape Evans to Cape Crozier was the most difficult part of their journey. They had to walk 120 kilometers in temperatures below minus degrees Fahrenheit with two slates of food and equipment through thick, clawing snow in darkness. Clawing means here, annoying because there is too much snow. They fell in the deep cracks in the ice sheet or glacier, they walked slowly with a lot of effort on the ridge produced on floating ice. And the ice was moving and splitting like glass. The cracks went off all around them and some of them ran along for hundreds of yards. They faced difficulties like bad weather, pack ice, the darkness of winter, temperatures below minus 60 degrees of Fahrenheit, crevasses on ice, frostbite, rookery in inaccessible places, violent blizzard. Their teeth cracked, their faces blistered and scarred. Cherry's teeth chattered so violently that they shattered while Wilson was blinded in one eye. It was so difficult for explorers to reach the rookery because emperor penguins mostly breed in inaccessible places and in the darkness of winter. They reached the penguin rookery by climbing the huge walls of ice that surrounded it. They collected five fresh penguin eggs. They were back at Cape Evans on 1st of August, utterly exhausted and close to death, but with three emperor eggs packed as two of them had been dropped. They were broken accidentally. Bowers and Cherry looked years older than they were. Their cadaverous faces were wrinkled and darkened by the cold. Their toy nails were destroyed and the feet almost useless. Their frozen clothes needed to be cut from their bodies. Their winter journey had finally ended. No words could express its horror.
on their return journey from the pole, Edgar Evans died first. Lawrence Oates sacrificed his life. He went outside and never came back. Evans and Oates bodies were not found. After collecting penguin eggs, Apsley Cherry Garrod took the responsibility of taking the eggs to the American Museum of Natural History. Scott and his lost two companions, Edward Wilson and Henry Bowers, died in their tent on 29th of March 1912. They might have died because of starvation and exposure to the extreme cold. His body, Scott's body and those of Edward Wilson and Henry Birdie Bowers were found in their tent nearly eight months later on the 12th of November 1912. Scott is thought to have been the last to die from the positions of the bodies in the tent. Cherry Garrard was deeply affected, particularly by the deaths of Wilson and Bowers, with whom he had made the journey to Cape Crozier. Cherry named his book The Worst Journey in the World, which is a 1922 memoir by Apsley Cherry Garrard of Robert Falcon Scott's ill fated Terra Nova expedition to the South Pole in 1910 1913. When Cherry brought the eggs, the curator of the American Museum of Natural History did not recognize the importance of the eggs. He dismissively asked the Cherry Garrard to take the eggs to an egg shop. The eggs were then kept in storage while occasional Scientists were asked to study them, but it was difficult to find the right specialist. Scientists no longer believed that embryos help much in studying a species' evolutionary history. Though they did not provide the information that was hoped for them, they were used in a later study of emperor penguins. Thus, their winter journey was immortalized as one of the most astonishing journeys to be successfully executed throughout the heroic age of Antarctic exploration. Friends, if you like this video, please hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel for the notifications of my latest videos. And thanks for watching this video.